Hare Krishna. The hard score is never hard core. Hard core refers to those who are very hard line, very uncompromising, very rigid. So there are, say for example, there are hardcore traditionalists who feel this is the only way to do, everything else is wrong. So in every field, say for example in English language, some people are hardcore and they say this is the way this word is to be used, this usage is wrong. But there are others who understand, okay, this is the way people are using the words. Then we have to communicate with people. And if communication is best done by using these words, then let's use these words. So, now, if we consider that the hardcore approach is one way of looking at the world, then what is Krishna's approach at looking at the world? At our heart's core lies Krishna. Sarvasya chaham rudisan nivishto Krishna says in 15.15 that he resides in the hearts of everyone. Ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishtate 18.620 says that I am situated in the region of the heart of all living beings guiding their wanderings. And what is Krishna's nature? Krishna is not hardcore. Krishna is very accommodating. We see this very beautifully in 12.8 to 11 in the Bhagavad Gita where he says if you can't do this, do this. If you can't do this, do this. So for example, he offers us a descending ladder of love offering us multiple levels at which you can connect with him. In 12.8 he says that Mai eva mana adatsva mai buddhim niveshaya nivasishyasi mai eva atta urdhvam na samshaya That if you always think of me you, your intelligence is fixed in me, that you will live in me. In fact, you are already living in me. Of this, there is no doubt. Then in the next verse, he says, Ab atachittam samadhatum na shakno si maistiram abhyasa yogi natato mami chaptum dhananjaya If you cannot fix your consciousness on me in this way, if you are not absorbed, if you can't be absorbed in me like this, then strive to focus your consciousness on me. Follow the rules of sadhana bhakti. In this way, you can increase your attraction for me. The next verse he says, Abhyase pyasamarthosi mat karma paramo bhava madartham api karmani kurvan siddhima vapsyasi He says, if you can't follow sadhana bhakti, then work for me. Whatever, uh, what you work for me in a way by which you can't offer your internal to me, but at least offer your externals to me. And even if you can't offer your body to me directly and do some service, Krishna says then, okay, whatever work you are doing, sacrifice that work for a good cause. So, there, tataha kuru yata atma van, sarva karma falatyagam, by giving up the fruits of work, become peaceful. So, what Krishna is telling over here is, at least become selfless. That, at least become not self-centered. So Krishna is not hardcore saying, if you don't do this, you are going to go to hell. No, he says, if you can't do this, do this. If you can't do this, do this, do this. So our Lord is a very compassionate Lord. And he wants us all to rise up. Even if we can't take the full leap up, we can at least take limited steps up from here to here to here to here. And gradually, we can, ultimate, we can attain him. So by emulating our Lord, we can also be, become sensitively compassionate to others, helping others to rise from where they are one step up. Krishna talks about this mood in the Bhagavad Gita in the third chapter when he says, Na buddhi bhedam janayet agyanam karma sanginam joshayet sarva karmani vidwan yukta samacharan he says, don't disturb the minds of ignorant and attached people. He says, dovetail their propensities, engage them according to where they are so that they can become elevated. So the, uh, we don't have, just because we want to connect with the Lord of our heart and just because we want to, others to connect with the Lord of our heart, that does not mean that we have to become hard-hearted. We don't have to become hardcore. We can be sensitive and compassionate and we can elevate people by offering them one step up from where they are, not expecting them to take a high jump to come towards Krishna, but offering them one step, one step, one step, 
till they eventually will attain krishna thank you hari krishna